if you've got Hashimoto's thyroiditis and your antibodies are very high, you might be making the same mistake that I made on my Hashimoto's recovery journey. So what is it and how can you prevent it? This is exactly what we are diving into in my video today. Ready? Let's get started. Hi there, I'm Julia Tavern, Certified Holistic Nutritionist at RossumHealthy.com, helping you create healthy hormones, healthy body and a life of your dreams naturally. Before we dive into our video today, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification to stay up to date with our latest videos. Hashimoto's thyroiditis. If you have thyroid imbalances, specifically hypothyroidism, you've probably got Hashimoto's thyroiditis as well. You might know about it and you might not know about it until you diagnose and until you understand that your issue is actually Hashimoto's. And in 90% of cases, hypothyroidism is due to Hashimoto's. So Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune thyroid disease and that means that usually there's some viruses, pathogens in the body that tend to hang out in different organs and they cause inflammation and that starts to cause imbalances to the thyroid gland. It actually starts to destroy the thyroid gland and if you go and do an ultrasound, if you've got Hashimoto's, you will probably see that there's been some damage to the thyroid. Can it be repaired? Probably yes, most likely, but at the same time, it's very important to understand whether your hypothyroidism is due to Hashimoto's or not. So I have a question for you. Have you tested your thyroid antibodies and are they high? How high are they? Let me know in the comment section, share it, and let's, let's see if you actually need to take action to help you reverse Hashimoto's at this stage. So when I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism in my early 20s, I had no idea about Hashimoto's. I had no idea why I had hypothyroidism. I went on medication and that's the route I took without knowing what I know now. Now, it wasn't until years and years and years into my hypothyroidism journey that I actually discovered that I've got Hashimoto's. And the most frustrating thing was that I discovered that I have Hashimoto's four years into a plant foods, raw foods lifestyle. Very clean, very strict, very sort of the, the, how I liked to follow it back then. And then I started questioning things and then I started wondering, why are my antibodies so high? But what happened was that because I didn't have the knowledge that I have now, uh, I went to a doctor and the doctor said, don't worry about high thyroid antibodies. Everyone's got them. Everyone's got high thyroid antibodies in our world. Not true, by the way, not true. I've worked with hundreds of clients. We've done hundreds of tests on our clients and not everyone has high, high thyroid antibodies. So I thought, well, okay, you know, he's a doctor. He knows it all. So I, I kind of left it there. I left it there. My antibodies were in 500, so very high. And the norm is up to 30, right? So up to 100 still, more or less, okay-ish. But really, you still want to pay attention to it. And really and truly, you want it as close to zero as possible. So I just went on and on and on with my life and uh, didn't pay any attention to it I, until, until I started putting things together. And until I started questioning things, well, why are my antibodies high? And until I started researching and understanding that Hashimoto's is a very serious condition. So the mistake that I had made was that I didn't address my high thyroid antibodies until I realized that, my goodness, they matter. It's important to get on top of, of them. And if you are following a healthier lifestyle and you know, the majority of people we work with on paleo and keto, they're on vegan, they're on fruitarian diet and they still have issues. So if you are following a lifestyle plan and it's kind of healthier, but you still got issues in the body, that means that you need to address those issues. In the majority of cases, it's going to be to do with gut health, with liver health. It's going to be to do with diet that is still not dialed in. It's going to be to do with deficiencies. It's going to be to do with viruses and pathogens in the body that have not as yet been addressed. But what you should not do is just take it for granted and listen to a doctor who will say that, oh yeah, it's high antibodies, that's fine. Because what happens is that 
When there is an autoimmunity in one part of the body, it can go to other parts of the body. And some of my clients who reach out to me, they are at the end of their rope. They they used to be active, yeah, they used to be athletic, yeah, they used to do all kinds of things. And now they cannot even run a kilometer. They, they struggle, they have so much fatigue in the body, they, their muscles are aching, there is a lot of inflammation going on. If you have an autoimmune disease, if you have high levels of thyroid antibodies, you have to get on top of it. And don't make my mistake, don't, don't sort of think that it's, it's, it doesn't really matter because everyone's got them. It's not true because doctors know very little when it comes to addressing chronic diseases, autoimmune diseases, they know very little about it when it comes to actually really go into the root cause of the problem and first you leave a, either live with it or you will be given immunosuppressant medication which will suppress your immune system and if you think about it what does your immune system do well it helps your body shield your body from viruses and pathogens and it helps your body stay on top of things and when you suppress the immune system those viruses and pathogens start to multiply and the body goes out of order and all of a sudden there is all kinds of issues happening in the body. So I don't want this to happen to you. So you need to get on top of your Hashimoto's. Do not suppress it. Do not think that, well, I've done so many things that hasn't worked and I, you know, I just need to stop there. Get on top of things. And if you need help, then get help. Work with a person who can help you, who's been there, who's done that and who can help you win. It's very important. So what I've done to help you move forward is I've put together a special free online masterclass that will dive into the five steps our clients use to help them reverse their hormonal imbalances, including autoimmune diseases, and lose up to 50 pounds of excess weight naturally without carbohydrate restrictions. So the link for that is rossomhealthy.com forward slash webinar. Go and claim your spot now. It can be a life-changing masterclass that you will watch. So thank you for tuning in. Great to have you here. Let me know in the comment section what action are you going to take next. And I'm going to link this video up to another video where I talk about dealing with Hashimoto's and the five steps to implement to help you with it. Thanks for watching.